Hello, I'm Sensei Alex Kakuya, North American contributor for Buddhist Star Global. Thanks for joining me for this episode of The Ordinary Buddhist. The title of today's Dharma talk is Changing Moon. Before we get into that, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post talks in the future. If you wouldn't mind hitting the like button, that'd be great too. One of the best parts for about living out here in the country is being able to enjoy the stars and the moon on a nightly basis. This may not seem like a big deal to some of you, but you have to remember, I spent most of my life living in the city. Due to light pollution and tall buildings, I was barely able to see the stars or the moon in the sky. It was only until when I moved out to the country that I was able to enjoy both of them on a regular basis. One of my favorite things to do was to go out at night just before I go to bed and spend a few moments staring at the moon. Sometimes it's a full moon. It's big and bright and it's shedding so much light that it almost seems like it's late afternoon and I can walk around quite easily in the yard even though it's the middle of the night. Other times the moon is the smallest sliver in the sky, so much I can barely see it, and I have to use a flashlight to get from point A to point B safely. However, no matter what the size and the brightness of the moon might be, I always enjoy finding it. Now, the thing to remember here is that the moon, like everything in life, is impermanent, which means it is constantly changing. It changes from night to night, from week to month, week, from month to month, and scientists say even from year to year. The craters we see on the moon today are slightly different than the craters they saw, say, 200 years ago. And there will be even more change 200 years from now. However, just because the moon is changing, that doesn't mean that we need to get any less enjoyment out of it. This is also true of other good, enjoyable things in our life as well. Maybe our favorite restaurant changes their menu items. Maybe our favorite band plays their different type of music. Maybe the roads change and we have to take a different route to get to work each day. If we hold on to the idea that life isn't supposed to change, the things that used to bring us joy can bring us miserable, make us miserable. However, if we remember that everything in life, like the moon, is impermanent, then we're able to roll with the changes, change our expectations. Maybe we can find new menu items we like at our favorite restaurants. Maybe we can develop a taste for the new music our favorite band plays and find an even better route to get to work each day. If we're willing to accept impermanence and move and flow with the changes of life, and even when good things change, that doesn't mean they stop being good or that they stop being enjoyable. Like the moon, even when there's just a small sliver left in the sky, these things can still bring light into our lives. Amitabha.